Welcome friends and family from around the world. This is my Good Morning Do daily event worldwide. And we are on May 9th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, where we look at space weather and world weather and everything affecting humanity, earthquakes, volcanoes, and another solar flare. And as I posted yesterday, this one did not miss us. Looking out here, you can see on the left-hand side there, big plasma filament whipping out as well as that sunspot releasing yet another flare. Looking at outgoing images here, quiet. But we do have a very active incoming surface. Closer look here at the sunspot and the flare. Large plasma filament erecting from the northwestern limb. And stretching towards the southern hemisphere you can see that plasma whip right there that was all connected and not only that but it created yet another small sunspot is forming in the southwest side here so our sun is wide awake as i've been documenting looking here at a multi-spectrum can see everything that happened we've got two cmes to talk about plasma filament eruption and as well as solar tsunami just amazing stuff right now amazing stuff so that plasma filament you can see in the southern hemisphere that was whipping right at us so that's something that we will not see through soho here but we will see the cme that took off from the northwestern limb there so there's the CME, and it's not showing anything here in the Southern Hemisphere. It's plasma filament. It's different. It's different. So we might have that thwarted right at us right now. But that CME did create a full halo around the chronosphere. And is heading our way. Let's have a quick look at our real-time solar wind right now as we are still a little bit elevated from calm 344 kilometers per second and that's that little bit of CME action that we had still low geomagnetic activity very low solar flux remains a bit high NOAA annual spiral shows nothing coming at us but ISWA wow that was a big CME and it is on its way to us you can see we will get a glancing blow and it looks like mercury got shot yet again so very active sun this week space weather is all around us right now and there's nothing to be afraid of I'm not sending out alarms this is just keeping humanity aware and prepared Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 10. Back to our normal base frequency, amplitude of 11, quality of 7.3. Have a look here the last 24 hours for earthquakes as we are seeing increased activity through Alaska and the United States. Starting out here, the most recent 4.4, Russia 4.4 as well a 5.0 and a 4.8 and i had noted that there was a lot of movement moving northward and we saw now what a 4.9 there in alaska on the border with um yellow knife or white horse uh, still seeing minor rumbles throughout the aleutians and then we get to the united states and we did see some more activity through California today 
as well. Not Alaska. Uh, Mina, Nevada, 3.6. 3.5 there. Hum Hermosa Beach, California, Los Angeles. As well as seeing the continued earthquakes through White City, New Mexico. Minor rumble still through Kansas. Have a quick look at USGS. This is the last 30 days for earthquakes. And, and this is where they show the 1.0 and greater. Just want to show you the concentrated regions here. Off the beach, Long Beach, California. As well through San Bernardino Fault. Lots of activity east of Mono and as well Mammoth Mountain. Extinct dormant volcano right there. Lots of pressure being released. Cobb Mountain. The geysers. Having a look at Canada earthquakes. And nothing major to report, and no new major quakes. Nothing since May 7th here. And then just recently, Beaver Creek, Northwest Territories, and Alaska, the border with Alaska, 4.8. Nothing to report across Canada. But North American plate still seems quiet compared to what I've seen in the past, one lonely reporting, 2.5 earthquake there, Hawaii, Dominican Republic, seeing activity today, one lonely earthquake here in Chile, 4.4, as well as 4.4 here in Tajikistan, 115 kilometer depth, and a 3.8 India, and this is where the I believe it was a 5.1 that struck that same region a couple weeks ago. 4.6 here, Indonesia. 4.4, Tuval, Indonesia. Papua New Guinea seeing a 4.9, 78 kilometer depth, 4.5, 62 kilometer depth. But all in all, not very deep earthquakes and very quiet, our regular region through the Kermadex. So, yeah, no deep earthquakes to talk about the last 24 hours. This is all shallow crustal movement. Looking at the last seven days, you can see there has been a lot of deep earthquakes recently. And right now it seems to be surface level. Having a quick look around here. Red are the larger quakes. Blue are the smallest this is the last seven days for the quakes. Quiet African plate. Quiet South American plate. We should be seeing fours and fives through this region a lot more than we are right here. So heads up South America, Central America, and as well North America. Just have a plan, everybody. That's what this is all about. Much love to y'all. Having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes to update. I did put out the volcanic activity report, but here are the most recent. Pacaya in Guatemala, Cinnabung, Ebico in Russia, Nevados de Chilean, Fuego, Sabancaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Popo, Mexico, Dacono, Semeru, Sangue, Cinnabung, and of course, La Soufriere. And many storms. Many stormy conditions, flood conditions across Malaysia, Indonesia, and as well the United States. Big system affecting you, long line of moisture, and low pressure system coming out of Colorado. One tropical storm to talk about, tropical storm Andreas, but most likely will fizzle out. But the low pressure center, center will stay strong, but with no moisture. Tornado warnings there, in Mississippi. And winter storm conditions across western central plains. So yeah, still very unseasonable uh, United States and Canada right now. And most likely a late start to the hurricane season. 
Let's have a look here. The five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth. Meteo Mike starting out here at Calgary, Alberta. As yet, we've, we're still seeing some rain. We saw some ice pellets. We've seen all sorts of weather this week. And it's been a roller coaster, but unseasonably cool. And you can see big high-pressure ridge coming from the northern hemisphere. From the North Pole, sorry. Still just dominating the continent. And really going to dry things out across most of North America throughout the week. Most of the moisture will be headed southward towards Mexico. And as well out to the Atlantic. So no major systems affecting uh, North America this week. Dry and cool. Extremely cool in parts of northern Canada. Lingering cool temperatures. Gee, I wonder why. Welcome to the new mini ice age. I've been trying to tell everybody. You'll see. The next couple of years, I'll still be forecasting, and it'll be June. It'll be snowing. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, big high-pressure ridge. Overlooking Europe, big low-pressure center here coming in from the United Kingdom. And then watch for that low-pressure center from, uh, from the West Indies come out of the West Indies and circle and join forces with the big system over Europe. So watch for increased moisture across the continent. No major weather systems to talk about in Africa. Could see a very big system here developing in the Indian Ocean later. Like I'm talking 10 to 15 day forecast just interesting developments there seems to be a circulating low across the equator trapped in the Indian Ocean no real major weather developments since last night's video heavy rains through southeast China into Japan and as well Indonesia Malaysia daily evaporation rains Australia Cool temperatures hanging around, big high pressure ridge moving in as well. Moisture coming in here from Tuesday to Thursday, coastal regions, and then vigorously heading towards New Zealand. Long line of moisture there, just interesting developments. We could have some very historic weather situations developing right there. Stay tuned to the morning dew in the long range forecast. Definitely overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Big high pressure ridge there as well. Dominant, keeping things dry across the West Coast, coastal regions, North America, and as well Hawaii. Big low moving into Alaska this week. Deep lower level trough. Expect an uptick in seismicity from Friday on. Here's a forecast for Tropical Storm Andrus. And a the center, or sorry, the moisture disappears, but the center of the low moves somewhere. We're going to have to keep an eye on satellite imagery. Overlooking South America, no new developments there either. Daily evaporation rains. We'll leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere. The intense, very intense Southern Hemisphere. Look at this massive low. Versus our Northern Hemisphere much love to y'all. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button. I know there's at least 3,000 people tuning in every day. I would love to see at least 1,000 of you hit that like button. Thanks much. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the